Hello and welcome to the Disabled Actors Project, a host of different platforms with biographies of people with disabilities doing great things in the acting world. Each episode or post is a different biography lasting less than three minutes. You can see my project on other platforms in the comments section. Today, biography is Lisa Hammond. Lisa is well known for playing the role of Donna in the British soap EastEnders from 2014 to 2018. Lisa was an actress before EastEnders starring in Grange Hill, Holby City and Vera. In EastEnders, Donna was a larger than life market stallholder, the foster sister to Vincent played by Richard Blackwood. Vincent had a relationship with the current character Kim Fox who plays by Tamika Epsom. Donna had a relationship with Robbie Jackson, played by Dean Gaffey, which I personally felt made a positive contribution and awareness of inter-able relationships. Often there is a stereotypical image that firstly, disabled people can't have relationships and secondly, do not have inter-relationships when they do. So I was grateful for this storyline story line highlighting the realities. Lisa has a restricted growth condition. She uses a wheelchair and can walk. Lisa has given an interview that she received verbal abuse from the public when out of a wheelchair as a perceived image of the wheelchair has been paralysed. It's also worth noting the words she received, verbal abuse, is considered a hate crime under British law. Lisa co-wrote and performed in the play called Still No Idea, which was made into a book in 2018. Although she made it clear it was a fiction and not non-fiction, we do see semi-autobiographical moments which could happen in real life for people with disabilities, especially in the acting world. Lisa highlights in the book that Lisa approached writers several times for a more juicier storyline rather than the typical tick-box disabled character and storyline. It was suggested that maybe Warwick Davis could play her long-lost dad, uh, which she was lost for words about. Lisa points out that she would love it if the disability weren't the essence of her role, of her roles. She dreams of playing a main character in a dramatic cop car chasing scene, for example. This book, when I read it initially a couple of years ago, influenced me to apply to do research into the difference between representation and inclusion on TV and the acting world. Well done, Lisa, for this book, which is one of my favourites. I hope Lisa gets the opportunity to go on tour again with Still No Idea uh, play, which I would love to go and see it. But maybe hybrid theatre shows for those like me with chronic illness